Let's look at editing or creating milestones to use for assessments and lesson plans. Go to Lesson Plans, then click on All Milestones. You can see all currently defined milestones on the page, and you can filter at the top by the age category. Click on the expand arrow at right of any milestone to view current subdomains. Click on Manage Categories at upper right if you want to add a new age category or edit existing age categories. Click Add Category and enter the age, then click on the check mark to save. Click on the three dots at right of an existing category to edit or delete the category. You can add a domain by going to the upper right and click on the blue Add Domain button. You'll add a short name, typically an abbreviation, add the full domain name, enter the age category, and then click Save. You can add your state standards or Montessori to your account. Just go to the chat icon at lower right and click on Send us a message to make your request. You can continue to add or edit after the milestones are created. Mouse over the arrow at far right and you'll have the option to delete, edit, or add a new subdomain. Once you've added milestones to your account, you can align those milestones to the individual assessments for children by going to Learning Assessments. You can filter for a child using search or scroll through and click on the child name or picture to open milestones for that child. When you open the assessment for a child, you'll have the option to filter for different categories, and you can view portfolio to see current assessments for the child. Manage Progress opens the level assessment description for edit or delete. You can enter your assessment for each milestone as a whole by clicking on the menu at far right of the domain and selecting the assessment at the domain level. When you make a selection, you will see a Change Progress confirmation pop-up. Select No or Yes as appropriate. You can assess specific subdomains as well by going to the subdomain and make your selection there. Again, when you make a selection, you'll see a Change Progress confirmation pop-up. Select No or Yes as appropriate. Return to the Assessments page when you're done, and you'll see a circle with the assessment initial under each assessed milestone. This concludes training for milestones and assessments.